For years, iPad users have been asking, begging Apple for a new way to multitask on the iPad. And with the release of iPad OS 16.1, Apple has delivered that in the form of Stage Manager. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm gonna walk you through the basics of Stage Manager and what that means for your everyday use on an iPad. All right, before we begin and I show you exactly what Stage Manager is and how to use it, I need to clarify that Stage Manager isn't available on every iPad that runs iPadOS 16.1. In fact, originally it was only gonna be available on iPads that had the M1 Apple Silicon processor. During the beta period, enough users complained and Apple opened it up to more iPad models. So as of right now, Stage Manager is currently available on the iPad Air fifth generation, every 11 inch iPad Pro model ever released, as well as the 2018 or newer iPad Pro 12.9 inch model. Now there's a caveat to the caveat here in that the true external monitor support that is coming in a future update to iPad OS 16, which allows you to connect your tablet to an external monitor and use more apps on that window is only available on iPads that are powered by Apple's M1 processor. So that's the newest iPad Pro or the more recent iPad Pro models as well as the fifth gen iPad Air. So there is there is some you know leeway and caveats there. All right, so what is Stage Manager? Well, Stage Manager allows you to run up to four applications or have four windows of varying sizes on your iPad's display at the same time. And you're no longer using split view or slide over for this. This is a completely new way and a new look and you truly can resize windows and move them around. It's not as free flowing as it is on say a Mac or even a Windows PC, but it is kind of cool to see it on an iPad. And now before I, I go any further, let me just say, yes, Stage Manager is a hot mess right now. I'm gonna focus on showing you the basics of how to use Stage Manager and let you come to your own conclusion on whether or not you like it, love it, hate it, want to leave it, or needs to just be redone altogether. If you ever run into me somewhere, let's have a beer or some coffee. We'll, we'll talk all things Stage Manager, but for the purpose of this video, this is just how to use it in its current form. All right, so it's, it's actually an optional feature. You have to toggle it on and off if you want to use it. So right now I have this iPad Pro currently in traditional non-stage manager mode, stage manager is turned off. To turn it on, you swipe down from control center and there is a stage manager button here and I'm going to tap it. And as you saw there in the background, the Safari window shrunk. And now I can use this as I would any normal Safari window and it is not taking up the entire screen. On the left side here, you can see recent apps that are quickly available to switch to just with the tap. And that's cool. It, it, like that part of it, I really enjoy using. I don't have to always swipe up, you know, multiple finger swipe or swipe and hold from the bottom of the iPad in order to task or multitask. Love that part. So let's go back to this window here. In the bottom right hand corner of this window is a little handle. It's, it's a curved handle that you can press and hold with the trackpad or use your finger to resize the actual window. And you can go all the way to push the recent apps off the side, or you could come in and go all the way to like basically the size of an iPhone app. Now this isn't a pixel for pixel resize adjustment. As you can see, it's snapping into place as I move because there are some constraints here on the exact sizes and resolution that you can use or resize apps to. And if you go all the way down, it hides the dock. One quick gesture that I like using in Stage Manager, if I want this app, if I want to stay in Stage Manager, but I want this app to go to full screen real quick, you just swipe down and bring it to the corner of the display. Now it's in full screen and I could swipe up and go back to a windowed version of it as well. You may notice that there's a multitasking button here at the top of the iPad app window. It's a three dot icon that's centered on all app windows uh, once they're open in there. So when you click on it, you're given some options. Full screen does exactly what I just did by dragging the corner of the app to the corner of the display to make the app go full screen while staying in stage manager. 
add another window allows you to add another app or a window to your current stage. So if I select that, uh, it goes to the recent multitasking view and you can then select something from there or bring up something from the dock or your app library. Minimize does exactly what it sounds like. It minimizes that window. In this case, it minimized it into the dock, into Safari, and I'm back on my home screen. Open that back up. And now there's close. Close does exactly that. It closes the app out, it's no longer running, and you're done with that app and ready to move on to something else. All right, so I said you can use up to four apps at the same time of varying sizes and interact with all of them on the screen without having to bounce between different apps or multitask and all of that uh, like you currently do on the iPad if you're not using Stage Manager. So I'm gonna show you how to add apps to your current stage. Uh, let's start with, I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop music in. Resize that because I don't need it to be huge. Um, now notice, I can't, I can move it around, but I can't just put it wherever. Like there's still limits within Stage Manager, so you'll have to fiddle around with it. Just know that you can drag, click and drag or tap and hold on the top bar of any app to move it around on your screen. So, right, so we have music there. I'm gonna bring in IA Writer, and then I am going to shrink that down. Maybe I'll move that to this side. Oop. It just shrunk off into the recent apps. So this is a good opportunity to show you how to bring in apps from your recent side. You just drag and drop there. I'm gonna shrink it down and have it down over here. So I have Safari, IA Writer, Music, and then let's bring up Tweetbot. And then I'll shrink it and put it down over here. And so, in theory, I have four apps open on my iPad's display right now that I can bounce between, control my music playback, take notes as I browse the web, and every once in a while, pop in over on Twitter and see what's going on there with its new owner. That's a whole nother story, right? So this is cool. This is, you can do a lot here. There are some constraints as far as sizes and whatnot go. You can if you really wanted to make a bunch of columns for apps and, and have it as basically four really tall iPhone apps going across your screen if you want. Um, there are keyboard shortcuts for Stage Manager. I'm using Command W right now to close out some apps that I don't, or in that case a tab, that I don't really want. All right, so I was just using Command W to close out apps. There's a couple other quick shortcuts you should know about if you're using a, a keyboard with your iPad. And that is if you hold in the globe key and hit F, it puts your current, the, what, whichever app or window is in the foreground, it takes it to full screen. Now you can't hit globe key F to then take it back to the size it just was at. You have to manually resize it. Yeah. All right, so if I wanted to add another app to this current stage and it's over here on the recents, I could drag it. That works. But I could also hold in shift and then click on it. That's cool too. But if I shift and click on another app in the dock, it doesn't add it. The same thing goes for Spotlight or the app library. You can only use certain shortcuts and certain spots and it's, it's a mess at times. So I'm gonna open the settings app instead, which Yes, can also be used as a windowed app. And I'm gonna to go to home screen and multitasking to show you a few extra features of Stage Manager. And you can get to these in Control Center and I'll show you that here in a second as well. So all the way at the bottom, multitasking Stage Manager is currently on. This is where you can turn it on or off if you really want to go through all of that instead of stage or accessing it from Control Center. But here is a good representation of what you can control as far as viewing your recent apps, as well as your dock. If you would rather have the dock and recent apps hidden whenever you're in Stage Manager, you can turn those off just by tapping these buttons here. I prefer to leave the dock on because I do drag a lot of apps up into a current stage in order to multitask and it just works for me better, but you can experiment with what works for you right here in Stage Manager settings. Now, I told you I was gonna show you something for Control Center that does the same thing. So if you swipe down for Control Center, there is Stage Manager, toggle it on and off, right? But if you long press on it, 
there's that same menu. You can turn the dock off, recent apps off, however you want to do it. And then when you open your apps, the recent apps for now, I have it disabled, are no longer visible. However, I can swipe in from the left edge of the display to view those and then bring one up to the current stage or switch between stages if that's what I want to do. All right, so I tried to do my best to avoid commentary about Stage Manager. There's a lot of areas where when it gets it right, for example, using the Mail app, and you reply and a new window pops out, it feels like you're using a computer of the future. However, as you saw some of my struggles here in this video, Stage Manager needs some work and it needs to be rethought out in a lot of ways as well. Hopefully you at least have the basic idea of how to use Stage Manager on your iPad now and you can begin experimenting with it and using it and implementing it into your workflow on a daily basis. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet video. Make sure to check out ZDNet for more how-to tips, tech news, and videos just like this one.